Well, there's growing frustration among civilians affected by the Navy's tainted water system. KITV Force Kristen Concilio reports how many non-military members claim they've been left out of relief efforts to fend for themselves. Despite the Navy's promises to help civilians affected by the contaminated water crisis, Radford Terrace resident Christine Roberts says her calls for help have been ignored. I want the Navy to do what they're, they're telling the public that they're doing. I am a member of that community. Like, they should be taking care of us the same as everybody else. It's been more than two weeks since military housing residents began complaining about getting sick from fuel-tainted water. And the single mom of six, two of which are living with her, says she's been fighting to get alternative housing, health care, and other resources from the Navy. We have not had any anything for food, um, no per diem, no nothing. I am at my financial limit right now. I have um, depleted my savings. Um, I've had to sell my old wedding rings um, so that I can, um, you know, just stay afloat here. Brooklyn Williams, a mother of five living at the Kapilina Beach Homes, says she and other civilians are also getting the runaround. We want honesty. Um, We've been getting so many conflicting emails from management. The community is in a panic and an uproar. And right now, we, as regular civilians, we honestly don't even know where to start to get the help. According to the Navy's website, the Navy's deemed alternative housing to be necessary for active duty service members, federal civilian employees, and all other privatized housing residents living in 11 communities on Oahu. The Navy so far has not responded to our request for comment. Kristen Concilio, KITV4 Island News.